What's going on, y'all? Quick little chat here. I'm driving to work. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, let's talk turkey. Let's talk arm wrestling. Like any other sport, by the way, anytime you get into a sport, whether it didn't matter how old you are, young or anything like that, if you want to be good at something or you wonder how this thing works, you always try to pick somebody and try to mirror what they did. Whether it be style, whether it be approach, things like that, man, I'm never gonna cross the street. Um, so what you do is that you pick a person. So for me, when I got into the sport of arm wrestling, the one guy that captivated me, that grabbed my attention out the gate was Cobra Rhodes, right? Now, I was impressed with that guy, and you know, he is my arm wrestling uncle, by the way. Um, I was so impressed with that guy because he was able to accomplish so much and he didn't need to be 240, 250 pounds, you know? He got to that point and he didn't need to sit there and spend his entire life in the gym, in the process. I'm really not, man, is somebody gonna let me in? Um, he didn't have to do all that. So I was real, real impressed by his accolades, his approach to the game, you know, which I kind of took over to. In my own style, I kind of conquered myself to where I want to be like that guy. I'm like, cool, thanks for letting me in, thank you. So um, I want to sit there and I want to say, look, man, I want to be like that guy, right? I'm not going to be 176 pounds by any means, but that's the guy I want to be like. So I try to mimic my style around him when I got into the sport. When I got into the sport, 2011, by the way, um, I was walking around at 200 pounds, right? So, of course, I cut to the 198 class. And shortly after that, you know, as you get older and... Um, put on some weight thing was I never lifted weights then after my football career was done I, I stopped lifting as much so I got you know shrunk down to 200 pounds and then this arm muscle thing came around and so I started doing that didn't do any lot of weight training so it was more of table time twice a week cool lots of hours on the table I got that you know however when it came tournament time and I would go to these events when there are people that were in my class but they're a lot stronger than me it didn't matter what I did, right? Okay, cool. So now I had to say I had to put some work in, in the gym. And I started doing that, you know. And, you know, as I got older, got stronger, also got fatter, right? So here I am at 232 pounds. Now, to this day, I still take on that philosophy, all right? Which is control the hand, control the match. Now, I will be the first to tell anybody, I am not a power puller, okay? by any stretch of the imagination. I may look somewhat like I'm strong, which you know I am for the most part, but I got strength just only where I need it at. So I'm not gonna be this guy with a 400 pound bench press. I'm not gonna be this guy with a 635 pound deadlift. I'm not gonna be that guy. I never will be that guy, you know? What I am though is I, I look at myself as a technician, right? Student of the game, maybe, you know? If I can, I, power my opponent, I'll do that. But now you look at it like, okay, well, you know what? If I know somebody's a lot stronger than me, that's where the game comes into play. That's where the chess game comes into play. Because now I got to find a weakness. Because everybody has a weakness because everybody loses in the sport, right? So it's up to you to find out where that weakness is, okay? So that's how I got into the sport. I watched every footage of Andrew Rhodes, my arm wrestling uncle, by the way, I've watched every film he had, win or loss, and I try to take on that personality for the most part, you know? There's a reason why I have that quick hit. It, it works for me, you know? I don't have the big hand or the cup and power for John Brzezink. I don't have the power for powerful press as a Jerry Cataract. I can do it. I just don't have that kind of power, right? But the one thing I always had was speed, right? Quickness. And... Everybody has a certain talent in the sport where once they figure it out, you have to utilize that. So I knew that I was gonna be quick. I'm always gonna be fast. People who know me know I'm always gonna be fast, you know? But I, you gotta add some more, some tools to it, right? You gotta add the strength. You gotta add a little bit of power. You gotta be well-rounded. But I tell you what though, I'm so excited that the fact that I was able to do that and you know impress myself sometimes and sit there and go you know what the training i got 
is a little different because not everybody has the same kind of training, right? So take that in consideration. Not everybody has the same kind of training. You got people who swear up and down that, you know, table time is the key. You've heard John Brzezink say that, you know. Um, you got people who spend their entire life in the gym, right? Cool, you know, if that works for you, that works for you. Um, that's the beauty of this sport, right? That's the beauty of arm wrestling because there's more than just one style. There's more than just one approach. There's more than just one training method. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you things that you don't already know yourself, but you know, the way I see this sport, I'm gonna do what I need to do to get the W, right? It may be ugly, that's okay, you know. It may be quick and painless, or it may be a grinder, whatever the situation calls for. But, so there's a question for you guys out there. Who was that one person you tried to model yourself after? Because I tried to, and then after a while, you know, I started getting into some other stuff to where, you know, hey, I gotta, you know, make sure I got my uh, T's crossed and my I's dotted, you know what I mean? So I'm always gonna be grateful that I stumbled upon Andrew Rose and study him over and over and over again and go, okay, that's the person I wanna be like, right? Almost to a T. And I've been in the sport 12 years now, so at some point, I still use those same philosophies, but I also add a little something I've learned for myself over the over time, you know, in the sport. So that's what I'm looking at. So my question to y'all out there, once again, who was the person you modeled yourself after, okay? And then, after that, do you have that relationship with that person, you know? Do you have contact with that person? You know, things like that. Um, I'm happy to say, you know, I was talking to Andrew uh, today on the phone. We were talking turkey, chatting it up, you know, good conversation. I'm excited. I'm excited for his comeback match in November in Turkey. So again, y'all, thanks for a little uh, drive through with me. I'm about to head into work, another 12 hour shift. Grinding, grinding. If I'm not grinding and heading to the gym, I'm grinding at work. So there you go. Love you guys a lot. Take care. Be nice to each other.